Now to a close call for two kids who nearly got swept away by some huge waves on the Michigan City Pier. The two minute heart stop stopper captured on camera. CBS News Jim Williams joins us live and Jim those kids never should have made it onto the pier in the first place. Erica, that aerial footage shows us just how dangerous a walk on a pier can be for anyone when the waves are high, but especially for children. The lake was calm today at the Michigan City Beach, and the sunbathers told us they were taking precautions. We make sure that they have their floaties on when they go out a little ways farther than just right at the shoreline. But even on a day like today, this sign warns, caution when walking on the pier conditions can change rapidly. Aerial cameraman Brandon Clare captured a dramatic example of that on Sunday. Two children on the edge of the Michigan City Lighthouse, then heading back to the beach, gingerly, with the waves crashing on the pier around them and on top of them. They ran from post to post, hanging on, eventually making it to shore. Water safety expert Dave Benjamin. They weren't hanging on. They could have possibly gotten washed off the pier and into the uh, harbor channel there. The kids weren't the only ones taking risks at the pier, says Benjamin of the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project. I mean, there's people all out on this pier earlier, you know, before these children, as well as after these children. The head of the Michigan City Park District, Ed Shin, told us the powerful waves had knocked the temporary barricade into the lake. He says the Park District is asking the Corps of Engineers, which owns the pier, for permission to build a permanent barrier keep people from making such a walk when the waves are perilous. Benjamin says towns up and down the lakefront should consider similar measures. 60 miles north of Michigan City, also on Sunday, Benjamin says a man had to be rescued after falling off a pier in South Haven, Michigan. The city should do as much as they can and, and you know, hopefully save a life versus, you know, risking the life of a, of a patron. Dave Benjamin says on Sunday alone, there were several rescues made up and down the lake in Michigan and South Haven where that man fell off the pier. Divers are looking for another man. 871 people have drowned in the Great Lakes in the last decade. Brad, we don't know the identities of those two children in the video.